hello friends so you are thinking that what is the purpose of making this video today absolutely there is no purpose last few days i was wondering what is going what is happening around last 15 days everything is totally paralyzed lockdown everywhere due to corona virus pandemic so whatever might be the reason there are certain restriction so we are all sitting at home and whatever way we are doing small exercise i was thinking that what is the purpose of life have we ever analyzed in little careful manner that what we have done we criticize so much we criticize our society we criticize our politician bureaucrats scientist but as an individual have you or are you able to make any impact or any contribution you have done apart from just supporting your family we need to really need to think beyond certain things that what you have achieved i personally do not know how to quantify this every day each one like you no know, for their work you get up early morning you go to your respective office or your workplace you come back home next day you repeat the same thing it's like a machine soon after completing my masters mba and phd i had also lot of ambitions lot of things to do like any young mind thing to do so you join certain organization you carry forward do some exercise now down the line after 20 years down the line being as a part of academics i can certainly say that some sense of excitement or sense of happiness i can see as i have told i am a student of biology i have studied microbiology during my phd time i have worked on nitrogen fixing symbiotic bacteria va mycorrhiza i have studied the combined impact of both rhizobium and va mycorrhiza on crop productivity after that i have written some papers on mathematical modeling on symbiotic system how in nature 
the both host and organism how they are associated and mutually exchanging their biochemical informations and the survive being with mutual benefit and interest in nature i always believe certain things that you have many things to learn from the nature it's a big kind of open space you can observe each and everything certain organism their biological biochemical physiological morphological the behavioral pattern i always believe that we sometimes say that in nature things are in a chaotic condition but within the chaos there is a kind of equilibrium concept that is also in existence if you see the last 100 years the way the science the development the development of biotechnology the development of nuclear research the impact of second world war then the genetic engineering there are many things there are rapid industrialization which in many way impacted our society nature and we always try to make a balance out of it but at present situation the things are reaching up to the extreme level the i personally believe the concept of equilibrium the ethics of science what we are utilizing is using for different aspect and when science is used for to gain the political or nation's objective there you could find the danger of whatever is happening today is really alarming and again as a student of biology my always interest interest is to study the nature the best way to do it do the simulation studies from 2007 onwards i was trying to collect some literature understand how in nature the simulation it works in case of symbiotic system you can draw the host and the fungus relationship and draw a kind of a mathematical model where both host and fungus can mutually live as long as they share certain information such share certain biochemical information the biomass the intercellular space so you can draw a constant value a kind of a mathematical constant
all those things it drives me from 2007 onwards to work on mathematical modeling as well as simulation on climate change studies in 2007 in india there are very few institute they are working on simulation studies at the first project we did with ira indian agriculture research institute new delhi the technology is free air co2 enrichment all the way i went to uk with my own money to meet few scientists over there the indian scientists who are working over there and i returned to india and developed the first system at iri the what is free air co2 enrichment system free air co2 enrichment system is something like that you all you know that due to global warming we all know co2 level is increasing now what are the impact studies one can do with enriched elevated co2 conditions so there must be some model where you can expose your plants with fixed co2 level and you see the how these plants are responding in and changing their physiological biochemical flowering maybe biomass photosynthesis how the microbial dynamics that is changed because when co2 is purged into the certain system so our objective or the scientific objective is to develop certain varieties crop varieties which are capable to withstand maybe high temperature high co2 level so you can develop certain varieties or germplasm what you say it and keep it for your future need it's a basically climate change mitigation studies you have those stocks ready as and when required you can use those crops or rather seeds use as a germplasm so that future food crisis can be checked the other objective is how to develop new varieties keeping the same environmental conditions in mind the free air co2 enrichment is the first system which is developed by iri after that we had pleasure to work with various research institute like ikrisat hyderabad dr m s swaminathan research foundation national botanical research institute it's a csr institute ihbt palampur jnu jawaharlal nehru university and throughout india we have done several projects we have taken two aspects in mind both co2 temperature and ozone this is one of the parameter that one need to see because of global warming there are a lot of ozone depletion also is taking place and because of ozone how the crops they are responding in terms of different level of ozone that studies also we are helping scientists to develop certain system for them the same technology free air co2 temperature and ozone enrichment system we have developed for many institute 
the institute who are to be named the year the premier research institute in india and a group of scientists working together it's a very very close kind of work we do the project value also it's not a very small amount it grows from 50000 us dollar to 1 or 2 lakh us dollar like no depending on the configuration of the project this is a very top technology this is not easy technology in open atmosphere where you do any mathematical modeling like let's say free air co2 enrichment like you release co2 as i have told you in open atmosphere through pipes and nozzles and you try to maintain specific co2 through co2 tank and there are there are a lot of variable factors here when you do mathematical modeling or any kind of simulation work when you develop the software or the working of this system you have to have a lot of parameters that you need to take the inputs like in open atmosphere you have wind speed wind direction we have temperature so again those are all variable factors throughout the day your temperature is changing your wind speed changes wind direction changes so you have to keep all those thing in mind you have to develop this software so that at the end of the day the area what you are trying to where you are trying to achieve that particular co2 level has to be controlled and monitored so there are a lot of mathematical calculations that one need to do while developing the software and we are we are successfully doing that the another technology we have done almost 32 research institute in india that is real time open top chambers for co2 temperature and ozone elevation studies those are partially closed systems made of polycarbonate sheet and you have the complete sensing facilities for temperature co2 and ozone again based on the configuration you can have a system starting from control only with temperature only co2 co2 plus temperature you can have replica of all those experiment together so based on your system or your research configuration you can decide how many system you want to keep in one area and conduct research the beauty of our system is it's a fully controlled starting from the co2 release co2 monitoring control temperature monitoring and control everything can be controlled through a pc nowadays we have been providing also wifi communication system where it's a basically wireless system where you don't need anywhere it we use certain wireless transmitter we try to bring data in the control room and from there itself you can literally control the system your data logging control operation everything can be done this eliminates the system performance uh, will be much more longer and generally after few years you need to change the wire and put in new wire and there are a lot of environmental hazards like rat bite it goes and cut the wires and all like no it is very difficult to find out then it is very difficult to control those kind of natural animals 
what you call it rats and all so they are definitely going to cut those systems and and it's very difficult to avoid and kill them also we have done name any system like you no know, in open top chamber you can study like you no know, starting from ecrisat we have done in international project in university of dubai ira indian agriculture research institute cotox crri cotox central or national rice research institute cotox odisha ouut bhubneshwar hyderabad university tnu tamil nadu agriculture university central potato research institute icr patna iit kharagpur name any national research institute in india where we have the system the third technology what i am going to refer is is the temperature gradient tunnel temperature gradient tunnel is a basically a tunnel made of polycarbonate sheet it can be from 10 meter to 60 meter or more so the basic concept is you create a gradient temperature or gradient co2 atmosphere inside the tunnel and you try to grow plants over there in the seedling stage in the different because of the different temperature profile or co2 profile so you need to see the how the plant growth are responding in different temperature and co2 zone but how do you do it the technology is basically looks pretty simple but it's rather complex we use the simple aerodynamics formula we try to purge air from 